Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Kotzen and I'm Dennis and today what we're going to do we're going to go and sign up and go into Cloudflare Images. It's a pretty new product that Cloudflare launched not long ago where basically you go upload one image and use different variants and only use Cloudflare and Cloudflare does everything for you and it seems like it's pretty a uh, pretty good product and it's reasonably priced and everything so we're going to try it out and see what we do i know there's not a lot of tutorials or a lot of information right now about this floating around on the internet i have been asked actually to to do some kind of a little tutorial on this so we're going to get started on this and go from there okay everyone when you log into your cloudflare account and you're in the front of your page where it's got all your website listed Look over to your left and you'll see images and it says new right beside it. That's where we need to go into. And what we need to do is go into images. And as you can tell, it tells you a little bit about it. It tells you that basically you can make up to 20 different variants off of it. And they charge a fee of $5 per 100,000 images prepaid. So you know i guess they want to make sure they get their money first but one thing about it this is what i like it says uh they only pay you only pay for the original image so you don't have to pay for all the different variants that they going to make off of it you just pay for the original and if uh let's say you do start delivering uh, web or images the one thing they only charge one dollar per 100,000 image paid. Of course, that is postpaid, so they charge you after the fact. But it seemed like a very good little price range that we got. And we're going to continue and go into find out exactly. We're going to sign up and see what's going next. So hit the continue button and let's go next. All right, where we're in here, it says store capacity. So this kind of gives us an idea of what we will need to do. We could. If we got a lot of images, which I guess a good thing would be kind of like if you uh, had a membership or kind of like uh, Crello or something like that or uh, uh, Canva where you charge people to download certain images, I guess you could actually do a custom. But if you do a million images a month, that's $50 of course, ten dollars for two hundred thousand. But for what we need for this tutorial, we're gonna get the five dollar one, and it will build me at five dollars right off the bat. So, y'all pick which one you need to do, and we're gonna go ahead and click five dollars. All right, as you can tell, it says do today or do now. It's gonna charge me five dollars. I'll go ahead and do the prepaid on it, so they make sure they get their money. Go ahead and click purchase. Oh, by the way, it says sales tax and when applicable. So, okay, everyone, we got through creating our subscription. I got the five dollars plan. That's all I need right now. Just kind of show you what to do. I've already went on it, uploaded three different, uh, which I don't know why I did, but or because I think you had to do it here anyway. But I went on and uploaded three different uh, size. 1920 on a one photo uh 3000 by 2160 it wouldn't let me go to the 3480 or whatever it was 3000 was higher than i done at uh 1280 by 720 just basically kind of getting an idea of what it would do and what it wouldn't do and of course uh you could hit preview and it'll let you preview this particular one and i have noticed that every one of them it already creates one variant and this in this particular case is the variant uh, 1366 by 768 which is very common for a lot of these computer screens and everything so and uh, it doesn't matter which of these photos I go and preview it's all got the same variant that's been created the first one is called public and it automatically created it for us so that's a good thing and I'm gonna show you the third one we're gonna preview it and again it's the same public the one that it did so that's a good thing that it automatically does that so i'm going to show you now 
how to create a variant and, and also I'm talk about the keys and everything too. So let me get myself off this photo or this picture and we're gonna go from there. We're gonna, after you, before we go there, let me show you, uh, don't forget, you know, it's pretty easy. You can either drag or drop your files into here or you can click browse and do it or you can use the API in order to get your files. So when you do upload your files, it's all gonna go down into here and it don't take long at all to get them uploaded. And one thing about it is showing my storage capacity. I says I got three images stored. And we're going to check this out, but it, the way it talks, we could create up to 20 variants on each image, and it only shows to have the image. So it should still be three images when we get through. We will see. And I'm going to go ahead and go to variants and click it. Of course, as you could tell, it's already got... The public one in there and we can edit that or whatever the case may be and if you go to about variants and it'll bring you to this particular page and one thing I will let you of course developers uh, Cloudflare but one thing I will let you do on this particular one it says uh, cloud images uh, upload and then just go down through here and then let's see resize this is what I was going to show you on this particular one here and and i'm going to just play around one of them but it kind of gives you a drop down menu when we go back to do it and this drop me on menu is going to have these particular items taken you know scale down contain cover crop or pad and it tell you what each one of them will do so y'all read that and it will help you out so what i'm going to do i'm going to create like, like three or four different sizes for this particular uh one and this is how you create you just pick a name and enter the name in there and then you click add variant so that shouldn't be no problem we're going to do that you know i'm going to claim my first one is number one and i'm going to click add variant and then uh we already got this scale down version already called public but if y'all want to do another one that says contained we could do that and, and strip all media. See, and now number one is contained. And then we're going to do number two. We're going to add. Of course, you can always change this over here to strip everything except the copyright. I'm not copywriting anything. Or you want to be able to keep all metadata. And, of course, we already went over all these particular ones. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, we talking about the particular screen size. Most of them is 1080p for high definition and 1280 by 720 and it says social media post and profile is usually a one-to-one -one ratio of 1080 by 1080p and those are the three sizes we're going to go ahead and in particular do so i'm going to do a 1920 by 1080 and, and just to do we're going to try different things on each one of them and it's just hey I don't think we're going to do that, but we're just going to, like I said, name it what you want, and we're just going to try different from 1080 by 1080, and we're just grabbing different things just to see what it does. We're going to do at least one or two more, and then we're going to check it out and see what it do. We're going to do one that's, a, let's say, a 50 by 50. I don't even know what that does. So we're going to scale it down. We're going to keep it there. I just want to see what it does. I just want to do one more. We're going to do one more. We're going to add a variant. And we're going to do, what is it, 30, 3480 by 2160. I may be a little wrong. And we're going to put pad. And we're going to save it there. So now, as you can tell, we got six different variants off of three photographs. So that should be at least 18 different photos if it was claiming each and every one of them. We're going to see what it does. We're going to go back over to images and see what it does. Yep, as you can tell, I got 18 photos up in there, but it's only claiming three. So it's doing exactly what it's showing to do. So next thing I need to do, we're going to go back to the preview button. And of course, I got all three of them. And we can check them all three. And it should have all the variants in it. As you can tell right now, variant number one. And, and it was the same as public, except I changed the uh, scale down to a different thing, so it made it a variant on that. Now, we can see as you, if 
also see I got one of six different photos in here. We're going to go through all six of them. I'm not going to show you each and every one on that thing, but we're going to click number two and see it's a 1920 by 1080. And as you can tell, our screen changed its size too to adjust it. And, and I, what I like about it, it seems like it, it hasn't lost any kind of a resolution or anything. So we're going to continue going. All right, now this one is a 1080 by 1080. This is for your social media posts. And of course you could glide it over and I'm telling you right now, that, that looks good. You know, that's a 1080 by 1080. And 50 pixel by 50 pixel. I don't know why that thing is so huge right there, but that's what it's showing. And the last one is public. Which is the 10 or 13, 30, or 66 six by 788. And this number five, that's what it was. It was the 4K, y'all. That's what, the number five was the 4K. That's why it's so wide and everything. But uh, the photo actually looks really good. I mean, I mean, there's no uh, pixel loss that I could tell of. There is, it's very minimum. So I like that. So this is a pretty much. Uh, how we go ahead and import as many as we want up to 20 variants inside of this and also when you get it right here you can preview edit and delete and again we done th uh, six per one three as 18 different images and it's only claiming three so it's doing exactly what it said it would do Okay, y'all, of course, you know, there is, you can preview it, you can edit or delete a photo. What we're going to do, we're going to go into the edit, just kind of give you an idea of what it will look like and everything. And this is the photo that you could go ahead and either delete, cancel, save, or do whatever you need to do. Here's your ID. And what you, we talked about this earlier, required a sign uh, URL. If you click this and basically if you want to keep it private, or if you make it where someone have to pay for it or something, that would be what you need to click. Of course, here's your, your C URL command that you can use to uh, post it into your command line interface, to upload or download or whatever the case may be. And so this is the, pretty much what we did is go into a brief review of images and being able to make different variants off of them.